Today we are going to full length size some cases with Lee resizing lubricant and a Lee full length sizing die. So to start with, I really like this Lee resizing lubricant. It only takes a little bit. It's kind of waxy. It's a water based lube that's actually an industrial lubricant that's made for drawing brass and drawing metal that they repackage into this smaller tube and then sell relatively cheaply and a little teeny bit goes a long way if you read the instructions on the back it says apply very sparingly with your fingers do not lube the shoulder if you end up lubing the shoulder area you can get dents in your brass and um, you know it just kinda squishes in there so try to avoid the shoulder area I try to get the body with the lube and then I'm going to take a little cotton swab like this, put a little on it and then just put a little inside each neck of the case um, for resizing and also to help with the bullet seating. But uh, let's get into this. If you get it, try to follow the instructions. You can wipe it off or wash it off afterwards. The lube can be used wet or dry. We're going to use it dry today because I like to wipe it on and then uh, let them sit on this paper towel for a while till they're dry. So what you'll see here, if the camera catches it, is just a tiny little bit coming out of the hole. Again, it's a water-based lubricant that is very sort of thin and waxy. Okay, With that little tiny bit right there, I take the case and I just wipe it on like this in between my fingers. And some people will tell you that the amount that I'm using is already too much. Okay. So there's a slight film on this case that you can see, hopefully starting to dry down here. And that's all you need. Really could probably even be a little less than that. So again, there's still a little left on my finger. I use my gloves most of the time. And it's just a, a slight film. I want to make sure I don't get it on the shoulder. It's a slight film. Hopefully you can see that on the camera. Just barely on there. The other thing I do is I try to take the, the case that has the heaviest lube on it and put that in there first. Now that one's very, very slight. So I'll put the case that has the, the heaviest amount of lube in the die first so that that lubricant is in there. And hopefully that helps keep it from getting stuck in the die. So I'm going to go through and do all these cases and then come back. Okay, now I'm going to put a little dab of this stuff on the cotton swab. And then go through and just lightly a little film inside the case neck and you can barely see it but that little bit helps with the resizing operation and also helps with bullet seating so I'm going to go through and do all the rest of these off camera and then I'll be back Okay, the necks have all been done. I wanted to make a note of a couple things. First of all, this Lee resizing die will not harm gunpowder in any way. If a little bit of it gets down inside the case, you don't have to worry about it interfering with the gunpowder going off. The other thing is, just like the outside of the body can be used very sparingly, inside the neck it can be used sparingly as well. You don't really, you just need a light film. You don't really need to put it on heavy. Um, another thing is, when you wipe off the cases, 
it says you can use a damp cloth and detergent. I found that just using a dry, you know, shop towel or, or, a, or an old rag or something works really well to get rid of it as well. The other thing is, I started off with clean cases. I had hand washed these cases uh, the way that I've shown in, in a prior video, and they came out really clean. But you can see inside the neck, there's still just a hint of leftover powder residue, but that's okay. I mean, they were really clean to start off with, and I suggest starting off with clean brass. Um, you know, sometimes you can get away with firing it once or twice and just wiping it off by hand. But if you're going to resize them, you really want to keep the grit out of your dies. So let me set the camera back up so I can show how to set up the full length resizing die. Okay, so here's the full length sizing die. And the instructions say, screw the full length sizing die in until it touches the shell holder. I put the correct shell holder in already, and I've just got to eyeball this. So screw it in until it touches the shell holder, which is right there. Okay, then <clears throat> uh, you tighten it finger tight, but you got to lower the ram, screw it in a quarter to a third turn, which I just got out of it. And that should be just about perfect right there. I'm lower the ram. I'm gonna take my brass that has the lube on the outside of it, slide it in, go all the way up. Now it's gonna get a little tight because it's taking some of the taper out and squeezing it, okay? So I'm just gonna slowly and carefully squish it in if I had not decapped my brass already, then it would decap because it has a decapping pin. Now, I like to turn them a third of a turn or so and then send them home again just for consistency's sake. But that's a full length sized piece of brass. It'll need to be wiped off and then the overall length measured. I'm going to do one more on camera. Okay. Again, slowly and carefully. I'm not smashing and ramming. I don't want to get a stuck case. I don't want to bend it. I don't want to dent it. And that's it. This is full length sized now. And I'll be ready to move on to the next step. I hope this was helpful for somebody. I'll catch you on the next video. Have a great day.